All right, so in this video, we are going to be considering how we can remove nodes in a singly linked list that are duplicates. So as an example here, I have uh, in a linked list with data elements 1, 6, 1, 4, 2, 2, 4. And basically what we want to do is we want to go through this and eliminate any duplicates. So for instance, one appears here for the first time and also for the second time. We also have four appearing twice and two appearing twice as well. So basically what we want to do is we want to go through the list and then remove any duplicates so that for this list, we'll end up with a list that looks like 1642, removing all of the duplicate entries. So that's the goal of this video. And again, as always, for all of these videos, I suggest that you pause the video and go ahead and try to solve it yourself. And if you're unable to, or if you want some help, uh, some hints to go along, then go ahead and unpause it and we'll work on it together. So let's go ahead and fill in this function prototype, which I just started writing, which is remove duplicates, which is part of the class that we've been working on for this uh, whole series of videos. And we're going to solve this problem in this, uh, in this function. So the general approach is what we're going to do is we're going to loop through the list one time. And in doing so, we're going to keep track of the data held at each of the nodes. And we'll be using a hash table or in Python a dictionary to keep track of the data elements that we found. So essentially, if we go along, we'll encounter this one. It's the first time we're encountering one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that to a dictionary. So we're gonna put in a count of one for that particular element. Keep going, we see six. This is the first time we've seen six. So we'll just also add a count of one for that, move along. So we see that this particular entry here if we check our hash table or dictionary, we'll see that we have an entry for one already, which means that this is a duplicate. So basically what we'll do there is we'll reorient these arrows, these pointers to make sure that we can eliminate this node because it's a duplicate. So that's kind of the main idea of how we're going to go about implementing this approach. So let's go ahead and start writing some code. So the first part of it is, as I mentioned, we're going to iterate through the list, we're going to loop through it. So the way that we do that is we're going to have, let's say a node, which is initially equal to the head of the list. And as we go along in this list, this current pointer, this current node will be updated as we move along in the list. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that we're also going to be keeping track of the previous node as well. The reason for that is because when we, let's say we stumble upon this node right here, we know that's the current node that we want to delete, but we want to have some information about the previous node. Namely, we need to figure out what, where is the previous node pointing to because we need to reorient this arrow to point to four instead of one. So as we go through the list, we'll be keeping track of that information. So I'm gonna define a variable called previous or prev, which will initially be equal to none, and we'll update that as we go through the list. The other thing that we mentioned earlier was that we'll be keeping track of the data values we encounter, and to do so, we'll be using a Python dictionary. So let's go ahead and define something called dupe values or duplicate values, which will be equal to a dictionary object. So what we're gonna do is we're going to iterate through the list. So while current, namely while the node is not null, we're just going to keep going through the list. And then basically we're going to do one of two things. If the data element at the node that we're on is already in the duplicate values dictionary, then this is basically telling us that we have encountered this thing before and we need to remove it. So this will be where remove node. So I'm just going to put that as a placeholder. And then otherwise, if we don't encounter this, basically it's the first time that we're encountering this element with the data element, whatever we happen to be uh, on, it won't be in our dictionary, we will add it to the dictionary. So we'll say dupe values of current.data is equal to one. So for instance, the first time that we hit this one here, that's the first time that we're encountering it on our iteration. So we're going to say the dictionary of entry one, the data entry that we, we care about, let's set that equal to a count of one. So we'll do that and then we'll just update the previous node equal to the current one. So we're going to update the previous node in this case. And then what we're going to do no matter what, either if or else condition is hit, we're going to say current is equal to previous.next. So one thing I guess I should uh, comment here, this is the case where we 
uh, this is the case where we have not encountered element before. And let's go ahead and fill in this remove node information. So what, what actually happens when we want to remove a node? Let's assume that we're on this one and we want to remove the node from the list. So basically what we want to do, we've been keeping track of the previous and current node information. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to reorient this arrow here, not to point to this thing because we're removing it, but to point to this thing over here. So in, in essence, what we want to say is the previous dot next, which is this arrow, point to current dot next, because this is the current node that we're considering, and this is the one that we're going to remove. So we want to, in essence, kind of move this arrow, point it to four. So that way we kind of eliminate the need for pointing to this guy here. So let's go ahead and write that out. So that's going to be previous dot next is equal to current dot next. So now we've eliminated this arrow. We essentially have moved this arrow to go over here. So what we have now is something like this. And then one is just kind of hanging out in space, just not really doing much of anything. It doesn't have anything pointing to it at this point because we've removed the next pointer that it was previously pointed to. So what we want to do now is we want to say, okay, go ahead and remove that node from the list. So go ahead and take that node out of the list. And that's pretty much it. So that's all we really need to do for the remove node part of it. We keep track of the uh, duplicate values. If we have not encountered an element before, we update the previous node equal to the current one, and then we set the current one equal to the previous dot next on every iteration. So that's pretty much going to do it for this um, approach. Let's just verify this actually does what we expect it to do. So I've gone ahead and created a linked list with the elements in the example. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the remove duplicates function and then print the resulting list out to make sure that it actually gives us this list here. Let's go ahead and write that and run it. So indeed, we see that the list that results after removing the duplicates is one, six, four, and two, just as we expect. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below to this video. Thanks again for watching, for all the support and subscriptions, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.